The landscape of modern military aviation is changing rapidly. In 2025 the United States is poised to revolutionize air combat with the introduction of a new cutting-edge hypersonic jet fighter. This bold new initiative is the culmination of years of research, investment, and visionary leadership from key figures like Frank Kendall, the Secretary of the Air Force. Known for his leadership in the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD program, Kendall has been a driving force behind the push for hypersonic technologies that promise to reshape the future of warfare. I'm on a mission to hit 1,000 subscribers and I need your help. If you enjoy the content I'm sharing about the U.S. Navy and military strategies, please hit that subscribe button. Let's reach 1K together. In a statement that turned heads across the defense community, Kendall outlined the U.S. Air Force's strategic vision for the future of aerial combat, which includes the unveiling of a revolutionary hypersonic jet. The future of air superiority lies in hypersonic technology. Our ability to deliver high-speed, highly maneuverable fighters will ensure that the U.S. maintains dominance over any adversary. Kendall said in a recent interview. This new fighter is not just another step forward, it is a leap into a new era of speed, precision, and power. The hypersonic jet is designed to reach speeds above Mach 5, breaking the sound barrier multiple times over and evading even the most sophisticated air defenses. This technological leap is not just about speed, it's about outpacing adversaries and maintaining an advantage in a rapidly evolving global security landscape. With potential applications ranging from high-speed reconnaissance to precision strike capabilities, the new jet promises to change the rules of the game for modern air forces. Frank Kendall's comments on the new fighter reflect a broader strategy within the U.S. Air Force. To integrate hypersonic technology into the service's arsenal as quickly as possible. According to a recent report from Air Force magazine, Kendall emphasized the importance of rapid development and fielding of hypersonic platforms. We are not just building a faster jet, we are building a weapon system capable of penetrating and neutralizing enemy defenses with unprecedented speed, Kendall said. The U.S. Air Force is currently working on several high-profile hypersonic projects, including both missiles and aircraft. Among these is the SR-72, developed by Lockheed Martin, a successor to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. This hypersonic reconnaissance jet is designed to fly at speeds over Mach 6, which would allow it to conduct missions beyond the reach of current air defense systems. Kendall has spoken about how the SR-72 fits into the broader vision of Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, where hypersonic jets will complement existing fighter jets like the F-35 and F-22, enhancing the overall flexibility and lethality of U.S. air power. The introduction of hypersonic jets has far-reaching implications not only for the U.S. military but for global security as a whole. As Kendall stated, hypersonic technology is a game-changer. It changes how we think about deterrence and defense. The rapid development of these jets comes in response to the growing threat from rival nations, particularly China and Russia, both of which have made significant advances in hypersonic weapons. In a recent interview, Kendall acknowledged the accelerating pace of military advancements in both China and Russia, noting that the U.S. must stay ahead to maintain strategic dominance. We are at a crossroads, he said, where the ability to deliver fast, precise strikes will be a key factor in maintaining global stability. As the U.S. Air Force prepares for the rollout of its new hypersonic fighter jet, the focus is now on testing, refinement, and production. According to Breaking Defense, the Air Force has allocated significant resources to testing new hypersonic technologies, with several successful tests scheduled for 2025. These tests will be crucial in determining how well the aircraft can perform in real-world combat scenarios, including its ability to withstand extreme speeds and high-altitude conditions while maintaining control and effectiveness. However, the path to deploying these hypersonic jets is not without challenges. The biggest obstacle remains developing a propulsion system capable of maintaining such speeds while ensuring fuel efficiency and maneuverability. In this regard Kendall has highlighted the importance of collaboration between the U.S. Air Force and defense contractors. As he mentioned in Flying Magazine, the combination of advanced materials, new propulsion systems and artificial intelligence will make these jets not just fast, but smart. The U.S. Air Force's push toward hypersonic aircraft is not just about raw speed but also cutting-edge technology that enhances the effectiveness of these aircraft in complex combat environments. 
These new jets are expected to carry an array of advanced systems, including improved stealth capabilities, AI-powered decision-making, and integrated weaponry that can be deployed with precision at extreme speeds. This combination of speed, stealth, and smart technology is designed to ensure that U.S. forces can maintain their competitive edge even in the most dangerous airspaces. Frank Kendall has underscored the strategic importance of hypersonic jets in future combat scenarios. These jets will be critical not just for rapid response and precision strikes, but also for their ability to seamlessly integrate with the entire battlefield ecosystem, he said in a recent Pentagon briefing. This ecosystem includes everything from satellite systems to drones, with hypersonic jets acting as a central node in a larger networked defense strategy. The ability to gather intelligence, engage targets, and adapt to evolving threats in real time will make these jets integral to future U.S. military operations. The push for hypersonic jets is fueled by the growing capabilities of adversaries like Russia and China, who are advancing in hypersonic missile technology and improving their air defense systems. In response, the U.S. must innovate to stay ahead. Frank Kendall emphasized, we cannot afford to be outpaced by adversaries who are rapidly advancing in hypersonic and missile technology. The United States must maintain its air superiority, and that means embracing the next generation of fighter jets. As the U.S. military accelerates development, the ability to dominate the skies at hypersonic speeds will transform future conflicts. This technology will enable rapid, precise operations and challenge enemy defense strategies. With leaders like Kendall pushing for progress, the hypersonic fighter jet of 2025 marks the start of a new era of air superiority. The future of U.S. military aviation looks incredibly promising. The new hypersonic jet fighter represents not only a technical breakthrough, but also a strategic advantage that will help the U.S. maintain air superiority for decades to come. But as Kendall often says, we're not just building for today, we're building for the future. While hypersonic jets are still in the early stages of their deployment, their potential to reshape the balance of power in the skies is undeniable. The integration of these advanced technologies will not only improve U.S. capabilities, but also set the stage for the next generation of military aircraft that could alter the way wars are fought across the globe. In the coming years, the U.S. Air Force will continue to lead the charge in hypersonic innovation, with the new jet serving as a testament to the power of technological advancement and military foresight. As Frank Kendall has emphasized, this is just the beginning. The future of air combat is faster, smarter, and more lethal than ever before. Stay tuned as the U.S. Air Force unveils one of the most advanced military aircraft ever designed, reshaping the future of aerial warfare. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on this groundbreaking development. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think the future holds for aerial combat?